Cleaning. If you're like me and most people, not all people, you don't really like cleaning much. But maintenance is a big part of looking after a model railway. And if you're working in large scales, and if you're working outdoors, it could be quite a big job to clean your track. The most basic way to do it is to get a pad and clean your track down by rubbing it. But going all the way around your garden, you're probably gonna be down at your hands and knees, chasing around all behind your rockeries or whatever, and it's, yeah, I don't wanna be doing that. So, luckily, LGB, have a vehicle that you can send around your whole track and it'll pretty much clean the track for you. So I've got one. I bought this one second hand. Let's get it out. And there it is. There we go. So this is the LGB track cleaning vehicle and it's the only item of LGB that I have apart from track and living up to the LGB expectations it feels absolutely solid. I mean it's like a brick I could throw it for a window and it seems like it will probably still work. Part number 2067. That's actually the LGB part number there on the, on, on the cab, just in case you needed to know. So as you look at it, it's in two main sections. This part is like a normal locomotive and has quite some weight to it. And that's because it pushes this other section, which its axle has cleaning pads on it rather than normal wheels. And that actually rotates in backwards direction. So as this one's driving forward, that one's rolling backwards and giving the rails a really good scrub. So you drive around just as you would any normal DC control and you can control the speed of it which changes the intensity of the clean by this little knob here. So you can turn the speed up and it will move faster along the track and that will give it a light brush over or you can make it go really slowly and that will give it a really deep clean. So let's have a look at that in action. Here it is, ready for work. Now there is actually another control, which is a three-way switch inside the cab. So you have to stick your finger right in there to put it to whichever position you want. Let's try the first position, which is nearest the window. And that does absolutely nothing. The motors are deactivated and it'll just sit there. So let's try position 2, which is in the middle. And then that runs just like a normal vehicle. So the cleaning motor is deactivated, and it will just run like any other locomotive. So on to position 3, furthest away from the window. And now it's in cleaning mode. Still though, when it's in cleaning mode, running backwards it'll work just like a normal vehicle. Now let's try the speed control on the top. Let's try winding down to the slowest position. Apply some power and the cleaning motor goes and it barely moves. So that's a really deep clean. I noticed afterwards I didn't actually put the throttle up to full power so it probably would move a bit faster than that. But anyway, here's a bit faster, about halfway, and it moves quite steadily there. Then we'll put up to full speed, and off it goes. I thought I'd see if there was much difference between two different speeds. So I tried this one first down this track on a steady speed.
Then I tried it down this track on a faster speed. So on just a single pass over, you can see the faster run. You get a bit of a pattern on the rails, but they're not really clean. Looks similar on the other track, but the edges of the rails are shiny. So it's definitely done a better job. Whatever you do though, you'd have to go over several times when the track's actually dirty like this. But anyway, I let it run all around my layout at a steady speed to see how it turns out. See how much the nose bounces around. And then a victory lap. Well hey, so my track is clean. That track's actually done alright, because it's been out there. It's only a temporary layout until I find a bigger house. It's been out there for over a year, it hasn't been cleaned at all. How my trains still run on there, I don't know, but they've done very well. So, obviously this isn't in keeping with my usual stock, which is 1 to 20.3 scale rear ground stuff. But uh, it's, it's obviously a German looking thing. Um, but, I don't know, it might be fun to repaint it into black and orange rear ground colours at some point. Might be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah. Anyway, that's the track itself taken care of. It's quite possible in your layout you might have tunnels or areas of uh, narrower clearance. So when I get to building my full-on layout, I most likely will have those as well. So I quite fancy building an extra truck to go on the front, which will have some sweeping brushes on the front so I can clear off any debris, like leaves and stuff, off the track itself before it gets scrubbed. And perhaps like a, a rotating feather duster on the top to get rid of cobwebs. Because I do not like cobwebs. Spiders. So yeah, that'll be good. Clear everything then. So anywhere a train will go will just be completely clear. And that'd be great. Just one thing to be aware of is this is obviously built for LGB track, which is solid brass. I do warn that it's not suitable for track that's nickel plated, as I guess it'll just scrub away that plating. Uh, I myself in the future are probably going to look into using something different to LGB track. So for that, I don't know, there might be something I can do to make this suitable. Uh, maybe change the pads into a softer material or something like that, but you know when the time comes we'll look into that Anyway cleaning made easy Oh, yeah subscribe <laughs>